uh, where it should be allowed. So actually, I get, I uh, I switch to HTML. Oh, I don't have an HTML buffer. Oh. Okay, so here we go, and I I blow up the font a bit. So here's the definition, and now you have some text. For example, we have a banana and another banana, or we want to wrap it in a list, right? So we type less than, and then the text automatically plays here, but what's more, it also uh, mirrors the, the text, and Ctrl G uh, ends this special mode. So now we get a bunch of bananas, and we want to place them in a, in a banana bag, right? So we do uh, another list, and now class banana bag okay and as you notice that only the the tag name is mirrored to the close pair and this is what the function spmatchs gml tags do uh, it it basically transforms the inside of the opening pair to to what should appear in, in a closing pair so it can be identity function then the same is mirrored it can do arbitrary uh, string processing and then just uh, this this basically cuts everything after the first space, which, which is what you want in HTML. And uh, another one is uh, in LaTeX you often have uh, the list uh, environment, so you have item. Uh, uh, for example, this one, and 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 now we want to wrap it Australian, Australian, okay, and we want to put it in inside a bag and end environment. So we uh, we enter this and uh, itemize, and it's pretty neat. And that's our. Uh, It's our section uh, and the definition again. I can copy the definition here just so you see. It's basically the same. You have a opening uh, trigger, a begin, and the function is identity, so uh, the content is just copied and it works in LaTeX mode and tech mode. Uh, okay, and uh, Third thing you can do with this is uh, you can also only have a pair that doesn't do any insertion. Uh, I mean, the, the, you don't type any, any more information; it just wraps a thing and that's it. So, if I have some text and just type two, it will uh, wrap it in a two asterisks, which is a mark for uh, bold strings in, uh, in Markdown. Uh, yeah, so that's about the wrapping portion. It's it's fairly neat, and you can do interesting things if you play with it for a while. Oh, and you can also uh, set the the transformation function as nil, and then just identity is used. Uh, it, it just defaults to identity. And the third portion of this presentation. Uh, Will be about why keep I doing that? Will be about uh, navigation. So this mode adds a bunch of functions for navigations for navigating the expressions uh, as expressions, also known as sexp or as exp. I'm not sure how <laughs> this should be pronounced, but I will call it expression because it's just uh, I don't know. It sounds better. Uh, oh, and actually, I have a, I have a, no, I have a, some ELISP code here. This is actually from the package itself. It's a function, spkill expression, and uh, I can show you some navigation. So the first, uh, first thing is uh, forwards and backward. Sp forward and backward. So 
if you are somewhere inside the inside a, uh, the expression you can navigate forward and it will jump to the end of the next balanced expression it automatically skips the the documentation oh, sorry the documentation and now there is no next expression or no forward expression so it jumps a level up uh, and this is pretty sweet and the same thing uh, works backwards so if I go backward it goes to if then set queue with interactive and then to optional the argument list it, it uh, skips the, the documentation again now if I am actually inside the documentation it doesn't ignore it and it do what you would expect and it jumps on the definition inside and if I go one more it jumps out and then it again skips the documentation so if you are inside the documentation it, it, it uses that uh, 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 this is the, the forward and backward uh, navigation which is, this is pretty basic then there is uh, another one which is the SP next and previous uh, expression which is almost the same but it doesn't jump to the end but to the front so this is the next expression next 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 previous jumps to the end instead of backwards which jumps to the front uh, so next, next, next. Uh, and now, if, if if there is no next expression, for example, let's go, uh, let's go here. We are now in the while, and go to the next, and then there is no next expression, so it jumps one level upwards. So this is the next expression. Uh, the normal functions that are in Emacs uh, that is called up list. No, no, it's next list it will signal an error, but I think this is a reasonable uh, we just want to go to wild and now it will jump to let and another let and then if and then the whole def one and the previous one works the same way but instead of jumping to the front it jumps to the end and then uh, again uh, up one level if there's no next or previous expression uh, Another type is sp down expression, which goes, which descends one level down. So this goes to the optional. And there's no down level, so it just stays there. And this is pretty sweet. You can you can navigate uh, a list like this or down to the right, back, very very efficiently. And the, there's also the backward version, which is the same but backward, so it goes to the end, but one level down. And if you are inside, it, it, it actually jumps from backward to forward, or start and end, rather. If, so if I'm here and I want to go to the start, uh, to the let, I, uh, uh, sorry, oops, well, this is Sorry, I go one level down. Oh, this. Oh, I see. This isn't the, the, the end of the let. This is end of this. This. Part. So I, I I would need to be I guess here. And if I go down, go to let. Yeah. Oh, well, you get the idea. Uh, so that's down as and then also up. Up expression. Whoa. What what was that? I have no idea. Uh, and this this goes one level up. So if we are inside, it it jumps to the end of the enclosing uh, end of the enclosing uh, section. If we are two level downs, it, it, it jumps to one, one level up. And we, if we are here, it jumps out of the whole full thing. Uh, so if there were like more expressions, it it would still jump to the end of the full. Uh, full expression, and uh, then there is the backward version that jumps, oops, that jumps to the front. So th th these are actually what happens when you do next. If if I do next here, next, 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 and then it goes upwards one level backwards. And I if I am at the end and I do previous, 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 it goes up one level forward. Uh, yeah, so. There should be four of them. No, yes. These are all four plus the backward versions, backwards versions, and then there's the, the one final 
uh, operation that is kill next expression so uh, kill expression just kills the next expression if there is no next expression it kills the whole enclosing expression so if we are here there's no next so it kills the whole set queue if we are here it kills the set queue if we are here it kills the uh, our section this is, is all. I also there's the backward version. I don't have it uh, been to any key, so I can't. Uh, I have to run it from the mini buffer. Backward x s kill and it kills backward. Well, uh, it does what you would expect it to do. So these are the navigation functions, and then there is also one I've uh, I've just added uh, yesterday evening, which is the slurp or slurp, I, I'm not sure how, how to pronounce that but it's, it's from the paradigm, but it's purely for hacker value it, it, it's... Uh, I, will, I will probably add the rest but after the 1.0 release is uh, like finished and functional so we can do uh, forward slurp and it, it, it uh, moves the the, the, the Closing parents, it just adds one next expression into it. It's pretty neat. And there's also backward version, but those are not implemented yet. So these are all the, the functions that are for navigation, which basically allow you to navigate anywhere really quickly. Now I just use, uh, for example, if we are here and we want to go to while, we can do twice up, uh, twice up, and then next. Or we can do, I don't know, uh, b backward up and then next twice. Or we can do next here twice. Uh, you need to get it into your muscle memory and then it will just speed you up tremendously. Alright, so that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, this was probably a bit uh, confusing because it's really the first time I'm doing this. So uh, ask in the comments or on GitHub if you have any uh, bugs or features, uh, file an issue and I will definitely look into it. Uh, okay, take care. Bye.